Welcome back. Brigadier General Jennifer Hammerstedt took command of the Warner Robins Air Logistics Complex six months ago. In her first interview since taking the reins, I spoke with her about navigating through not only the pandemic, but also a growing demand for faster planes with newer technology. With nearly 8,000 employees and an already full workload repairing and maintaining planes like the F-15, C-130 and C-5, does Robins have the people and resources to keep up? Here's what she had to say. Yeah, we want to be ready for that future requirement, whatever it is, but we want to be a place that can support that future fight. So we've got to be good at what we do today so that we can and do that in the future. Do you think you have a sizable workforce to continue to do that and add on possibly more workload? We have the right number of people. What we're looking at right now is uh, do we have the right mix of people? Um, I just launched internally uh, a little effort to really take a deep dive into how we train. Right now, we're about where we need to be in the numbers. Probably in about a month or two, we'll be looking at next year and we'll make a decision on hiring. But uh, right now, we're, we're not looking at any large hiring push like we, like we required a couple of years ago. What are some things that are maybe on the horizon as far as workload or projects? We're getting ready to roll out the new um, F-15EX. That workload will eventually come here to Robbins Air Force Base. Well, we've done C-130s here forever. Right? Uh, the C-130J is the new variant of that. They're going to continue to grow and, and modernize. That workload is going to continue to come to Robbins Air Force Base. The software, uh, the software growth is going to continue. How will that change maybe some of the, the training or the workload? You know, when we talk about modernizing, we talk about our facilities, we talk about equipment. We, we've added kind of a fifth element to that, which is what does the technician of the future look like? What skills do they have that are different? What what tools do we need to be putting at their in their palms of their hand? Not wrenches and torque wrenches and screwdrivers, but what other, you know, think IT. What are some partnerships or maybe opportunities that you see with the with the community? Uh, we have a constant pipeline of our of our aircraft me mechanics, our system mechanics that we we need. Uh, that that pipeline never turns off. Certainly with our universities, even with um, with some of the local businesses on some of the work that we do to support some of our aircraft and systems. As she says, the recent work on the Global Hawk drone served almost as a test for how well Robbins could adapt to some of that new work. She told me they are seeing continued success with the work that the Air Force asked them to do on that aircraft giving her more hope for future missions. We covered many topics in our discussion, including efforts to make sure the ALC fosters more diversity and inclusion in the workforce. You can watch my full conversation with General Hammerstedt. Just look for the story on 13WMAZ.com.